Hey, welcome to this brand new video. In this video, I will show you how you can install Android on your iPhone. It will work on any iPhone or any iPad without a jailbreak. And you can see I have this iPhone 12, which is on 18.1. Also, please note that a faster iPhone or iPad is preferred or the process will be very slow. So at least iPhone 11 or iPhone 12 or higher. Also, you will have to enable a JIT to make this process faster. I have a full guide on how you can enable JIT when you use an app on iOS 18 or iOS 17. The guide is in the description. Also, please note that this video guide is intended for educational and testing purposes only. We will be using UTM which is completely free and we are at its official GitHub page as you can see it right here. You can get UTM from here under releases and it is also available on the App Store officially as you can see it right here. Also it is completely free. Now from the official GitHub page for UTM when you go into releases simply scroll down and in assets please get this file utm.ipa to your pc first then you can use side loadly which is completely free to install it onto your device you can simply install itunes and icloud from here these are the official links and then get side loadly from here to your windows pc side loadly is open please connect your device you can see the version here Select the IPA from here. So I got this IPA already. Hit open. Simply type in your Apple ID here and then hit start. Once the process is complete, you will see UTM on your device. Also, if you are doing this for the first time, it will ask you for the password for your Apple ID. Please put it in. Once it is installed, you are good to go. You can close out of side loadly. Now for this guide, I am using Android ISO, which is Android 4.3 if you check it out here because it is light and it is faster also if you want a higher version like this one as you can see on your screen you can simply head to the official github page and then go there and you can get it from here when you get it to your device in the files app and you have utm you're good to go now to open utm head to settings go to general and then scroll down to device management to trust this app first on iOS 16 and higher, you will have to enable developer mode. Go to settings, then privacy and security, and then from there, enable developer mode. You will see developer mode once UTM is installed on your device. You can simply turn it on by following the instructions. Now let's see it in action. And I will enable JIT. Again, the guide to enable JIT for iOS 17 and iOS 18 is in the description. I will select UTM from here and then UTM should open. Now guys, so once UTM is open, hit this plus button, then hit emulate, then hit other, then hit browse, and then browse the Android ISO you just got. Select it and then hit continue. You will give it about one GB of RAM. Leave CPU cores on default, continue, leave this storage on default also continue then continue then hit save now from there you will see this settings simply hit it then go to kimu then disable uefi boot all right then go back go to system scroll down and in jet cache give it 256 mb because it is the one fourth of the RAM you gave. Then hit save. Then simply run it. You will see this. Bring up the keyboard by hitting the keyboard button. Hit return and it should load. This can take some time. So please wait. Now you will see Android on your screen. This can take about two to three minutes. All right, you will see this screen now. Now simply use the mouse pointer and then hit start. Now on the Wi-Fi screen, simply skip. Skip anyway, no, not now. And then next, then next and then simply skip to the home screen. Finish. And you will see this screen. Hit okay. You can see it is 
running fine i will open the menu you can also browse the internet all right if i open the menu you see you have various items to test we have settings wi-fi bluetooth etc to close you can simply hit this power button hit the yes and you are back that's all for this video guys if you still have questions please ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care